Welcome everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's Easy Gamer. Hope everyone is fine and everyone's finding some good entertainment out there. Now today we're going to take a look at the A13 Mark 1 reserve tank for the British. So I did record this intro and unfortunately I had a bit of PC problems so it didn't go uh, according to plan. So my mouse, uh, my microphone wasn't working too well, my mice, my mouse packed up. So yeah, it didn't go according to quite plan, but hopefully I fixed all of those issues and we are back. Maybe we can get back onto schedule. So the gameplay is done. Uh, the intro was just a one big balls up. So what can I say about the A13? Well, you got the A13 as a reserve. And then you've got the A13 Mark 3rd RTT. Don't know what that is, but... Uh, yeah, basically the same tank. Only difference, I think, really is uh, camera. I'm not sure. So, But, yeah, we're not going to do it on the premium. We're going to do it on this one. Desert camera. Then we're going to do it is the winter... The, Snow camera, winter camera, which looks about the best. North Africa campaign uh, camera, not too bad. So it's just quite nice. I like this one kind of. So, let's start with armor. Well, as you can see, not much armor. This whole structure is 14. Yeah, it's 14. So it's basically one big seven. Um, it, it's all around basically the same 14, 14, nothing major to talk about really when it comes to armor analysis on this tank. There is none really, so impact angle 12 millimeters, it doesn't help you much. 19 millimeters, if you effective thickness, if you take it at an impact angle of 43 degrees, so yeah, it doesn't help you much. Um, but what I did find is if you angle the tank, it does help. So yeah, uh, you would see that in the gameplay as well. I took several shots, especially from the back, but I was angled. And I didn't take really any damage. So the gameplay is pretty good. Uh, third in team, and I think I had like five kills or something like that. And I survived with this tank. So... Yeah, and then remember I played that with a stuffy mouse as well. Mouse that didn't want to work 100%. So it wasn't too bad of a route. So let's go to inside. Crew survivability. you got three crews in the turret. So a shot to your turret could knock out all three at once and you're dead. A driver here in front and place for lots and lots of ammo. But it'll be pointless taking so much with you. Because your 10 won't live long enough to use all that ammo. One hell of an engine. Fuel tank, fuel tank, radiator, radio station, transmission, and a big engine. So, from front, you've actually got nothing because everything's at the back. So, from front, if you pin, you knock at your driver, you're dead in the water. Uh, in my personal opinion and experiences from this tank, if you're not in a good position and, you, and you've got no team near you and you are alone fighting two people or in a gunfight with somebody and you know a driver gets knocked out you're dead so the best is to push up with your team you can go in the front with this a fight from the beginning a bit and um, yeah it should it should help quite a bit so um, you can do it that way uh, it's how I played it I was hiding behind a building and next to the spawn site and then as the people came in, I was shooting, shooting on both sides, covering with artillery, uh, assisting teams. So, yeah, it's it's not a too much of a bad tank, really. It's not. It can be much better, in my opinion. But for oh, the game style, it's not bad. For a reserve tank, it's not bad. So let's get out of that, okay. Now, if we go look here at my, uh, you've seen us, uh, I have, because I started with the British Tech Tree, so, yeah, most of the stuff, like I said, will be spaded. I just haven't done that because, yeah, 
the time I started playing it, I wasn't sure about those things. I was more like every other player that comes into War Thunder. I was more interested in getting to the top tier to play with the big tanks. And then when I reached there with the British tree, when I got to, when I got to yeah, I realized what a hell of a cock up this is. That from yeah, yeah, the warrior, the marksman, uh, the Roycut Mark One D. Uh, this one, this one, this one. From there I decided no, I'll never go. I played for a long time with the Conquer. But the repair cost on this thing is ridiculous. I mean, crew training cost 113,000 silver lines. Repair cost 11,000. So yeah, it is it is ridiculous. And then I never ever played this rank again. I will go up to, yeah, m more or less. But seldom do I go further down the lines because I yeah I, I don't see of we're doing all this hard work and then coming all the way down here and being disappointed at the end of the day so losing all my hard-earned money that I've worked for to lose it over here no so I rather stick here about by this, this battle rating of six and that's how I play but yeah this is a pretty good tank uh, a really really uh, didn't take long to shoot the footage for it. Like I just said, I had problems with my mouse. It wasn't performing. I went out to buy a new one. So, yeah, very good tank. Um, in the original video, I wanted to take it with... I think it was this. No. No. Uh, it was with this shot I wanted to take it with. But then I went against it. Uh, because it wasn't consistent for me, and I took it on, was it this one? Yeah, and then I took it on this one. Um, this shot pinned, hit in the right places, destroyed. I was taking out British tanks, I was taking out American tanks, German tanks. It was consistent with me, and if you take a look, 500 meters, you got 49 millimeters of pin, 42 millimeters of pin, and 30 degrees, and 19 millimeters. At 60, at 60 degrees, but like I always say, don't worry about the 60 degrees. But yeah, it was constant for me. I, I, I got shot through, I hit engines, I hit components, I hit crew members, I destroyed some lightly armored tanks quite easily, quite quick. So it was the most consistent shell was this one for. So if you're starting out, yeah, I would use this one. Uh, I would use this one to I get that one unlocked. But once you've reached, yeah, I would just unlock straight this one and use it but that's my personal opinion so yeah everything here is unlocked everything's done and yeah it was it's not a bad tank for for a newcomer you can play in the front just angle um try get into a good position stay there and shoot make sure you always got people on your sides and to help you and if you see a teammate's getting a bit stuck Go in and help him. Take him out. Go in and help and secure the objective. And then you should be pretty good. So that's how I played the tank. And that's how you'll see I did it in the video. The sound quality in the video might be a bit shitty. I'm sorry. Um, did shoot that a bit late at night. So try to keep the noise level a bit down. Um, what else is there? Yeah, I think that will cover it all. Yeah. So... Not a bad tank, really, really not bad, I really enjoyed it, it, it was fun, it was enjoyable, I didn't take very long to, sh to shoot it, like I said, it was pretty good, um, give it a, watch this video, check that video out, and if you enjoyed the videos, hit the like, if you didn't like it, hit the dislike, leave us a comment on why you didn't like, what you didn't like, why you didn't like it, and then maybe leave us a suggestion how we can improve it. And um, if you enjoyed this, tell us you liked it. Tell us what you liked about it. And if you really, really enjoyed it and want to see more content, then hit the subscribe button. Um, this series is just about reviewing the vehicles, playing with them, giving my thoughts on them, and giving how I think you should play it. So nothing really fantastic about it. And um, yeah, oh, I forgot I put an army hat up there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool. So yeah, thanks once again for watching and enjoy the video 
and keep safe and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.